Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Friday market webcast. Okay, so daily chart, zoom in, we're still consolidating. Um, they traded as low as 3,005 yesterday, uh, early in Globex, and they went ahead and they defended that, um, bounced it all the way up and traded as high as uh, 3079 half. They traded as high as 82 in the overnight. So we're getting back now to retesting the nine day and the 20 day from underneath. And as long as there's this much price consolidating itself around that middle Bollinger Band, the 20 day simple moving average, you're going to see these Bollinger Bands tighten up and we're gonna stay in compression. Now, before you say, oh, well, compression, volatility, that's two different things. Yesterday, was it, it was a 74 handle range. You can get a lot of work done in a 74 handle range. Um, tonight, haven't even opened yet, 78, 78, it's a 36 handle range. So the volatility's there. It's just as far as producing the next leg or the next directional move, it's not there yet. It's waiting on a lot. It's waiting on some of these new numbers, the new developments in some of these states. It's, it's you know, China's up in the air. You got a lot of things that are going on right now that tend to get the market started in one direction or the other, but as far as executing on follow through in order to put in another leg, that's not happening yet. That's not happening yet. The thing is just kind of waiting and that's okay. Um, hourly chart. So the first thing that jumps out at me on the hourly chart is here, 82 and here, 81. So as we get into 3080, 3082, just like 79 kind of topped it out yesterday, and you had another look here at 80. So this 79 to 82 area has been resistance all of Globex and since yesterday's close. You have the 9 to 88, 20 day at 98. So the bears want to keep that sealed, okay? They want to turn this into some kind of little bear flag that's going to break down. Um, a good start towards that scenario would be converting the hourly mid band, which they haven't done a good job of. They did push it back towards weekly pivot, traded as low as 48.75 and they, and they rejected it. That's not a good look. This isn't a good look for the bulls. This is not a good look for the bears. And this is a really bad look for the bears. I mean, what are you doing? You create this high or low and then they just, they just jammed them. We fought over uh, weekly pivot for a few hours and then they just ramped them, squeezed them right into the close, but no farther than 80. So look, if you're going to tell me, okay, Mike, Friday, we're going to, we're going to trade between 80 and, and 45 all day. That's fine. I mean, we can get a lot done between 80 and 45. Um, I will be interested to see as we get into the afternoon, the answer to the question of, you know, show of hands who wants to be long all weekend. I think, you know, certainly back in, 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 in March, the answer to that question was hell no. And you would see, you know, you, you would see the bid just walk on Fridays and it would end up still walking into a gap down. Um, that answer changed gradually over the course of April, May, and the first part of June. What I'm curious of is as some of these things are happening, as some things that were open are now closing, some things that we're going to move forward with phase threes are not moving forward with phase threes. Whether the answer to that question is going to be a little bit more of a no, I'll pick this all up on Monday kind of a thing. And then you start to see the bears control these Friday closes again. My only position with regard to the tape is that with everything going on in the world, I think at a minimum, this should be a two sided tape. And I have no complaints this week. This week has been a two sided tape. So I know that the hyper bulls out there would just like to see it go up forever. And the, and the hyper bears want to see Wiley Coyote off a cliff with a rocket strapped to his back. I get it. I get it. And a little puff of dust down at the bottom of the ravine, right? What you're getting this week is you are seeing them fight over a basically 100 to 130 handle chunk of price while all these things get worked through the market. I think that's healthy. I think that's, you know, I think that's healthy and I think it sets up whatever the next leg is gonna be. And there's enough volatility for us day traders 
to do what we need to do. Um, so keep an eye on that this afternoon, whether people want to be long over the weekend. But for now, you got 80 on the up. You got weekly pivot on the down. Uh, volume weighted average price, 68. It's sitting right there with the hourly mid band, which is 66. Um, our proprietary moving average is 69.75, and the five minute mid band is 68. Um, so you're talking about 66 to 70. That's going to need to make a decision right off the open. Um, it's consolidating now below that area. So I'll be interested to see what it's capable of. It's been, we've been hanging out here now for 25, 30, 40 minutes below VWAP at 69. If it does it for a little bit longer, I just might put out a short. All right, everybody have a great day. Have a great weekend. Be safe, be healthy, take care, train them well. Talk to you soon. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.